So welcome back to some more conspiracy theories and unexplained mysteries of the world, all right? But before we get to the video, man, we gotta unplug some more people out of the matrix. How do you do that? You do that by smashing the like button and putting hashtag unplugged in the comment section below, all right? And if you're new, join the family. Hit that subscribe button and come be a part of this, man, all right? And with that being said, let's check out this craziness going on in the world. Let's check this out. So here's what we know about UFOs. The U.S. government has verified the real, in the sense there are objects moving in the sky that we cannot identify. They're certain they do not belong to a foreign nation. They're not from Russia or from China. And third, we know that these objects are moving in ways that we cannot replicate, explain, or even understand. So everyone who studied this in the U.S. government will admit that privately. No one has really said that out loud, and that may change very soon. So for the first time in half a century, there will be a public hearing on UFOs. The House Intelligence Subcommittee will hear from two senior Pentagon officials tomorrow on what the Defense Department actually knows about these objects. The Pentagon and intel agencies are reportedly feuding tonight on how much the public should know. Lou Elizondo is a man who does know. He's a former Pentagon official. Feuding about how much we should know? And y'all still place your faith? This is with whom you want to place your faith. Okay on how much the public should know. Lou Elizondo wow. is a man who does know. He's a former Pentagon official who ran this program looking into these objects. He joins us tonight. Lou, thanks so much for coming on. So thanks, what, what would possibly be the justification for holding back from the public what the U.S. government, which the public pays for, knows about these objects? Right. Well, it, in fact, it, it might not be so much what we know, Tucker, but the fact that we don't know some things. Uh, clearly, right. from, a, from a national security perspective, the last thing you want to do is ever broadcast your, if you will, your, your intelligence gaps uh, to, your, to your enemy. And in this particular case, you know, you said it yourself, there's a lot more we don't know than we do know. But you're right, this is a historic move. Since, since 50 years ago, the last time we were faced with this, you had the Air Force brief, briefing the, the results of Project Blue Book. Here we are half a century later, and now we have senior DOD officials now, not just the Air Force, coming up and, and providing information to Congress and ultimately the American people. Do, do you know if there have been conversations between American officials and their counterparts in, say, Russia and China over these objects? I mean, they're not just spotted around U.S. military installations, but also in those countries and around the world. Do we ever talk about this offline? Well, you know, let me give you a real example. There was a, a very classified memorandum at some point back in the 60s that the United States and Russia agreed in writing that we would report to each other uh, when we were looking at the northern tier, making sure that neither one of us thought the other was shooting a nuclear weapon at the other. And there's actually a, a small uh, paragraph that says, look, if you happen to see a UFO, do us a favor, call us first before you press the button, because it, it, it may very well be just that, a UFO, and not, not, not us. And so I, I think, um, I think there, there are certain examples of that where we had information sharing with other countries, in some cases allied countries, and now even in the law, the law that was just passed recently that was co, if you will, sponsored by Senator Gillibrand and Senator Marco Rubio, where it says now we are enjoined, we must, we have to work with our friends and allies on this topic. It's no longer an option. We have to do it. So you've just, you've, said, you've answered two questions. One, the U.S. government has had full awareness of this for 60 years. This was in the 1960s. 60 years, 60 years of lies, 60 years of deceit. Come on, man, stand in front of that, own it. That's what y'all would expect us to do. The U.S. government has had full awareness of this for 60 years. This was in the 1960s, you said. And second, we know for dead certain these are not foreign military aircraft. Yeah, I mean, look, Congress is, is doing the right thing by having these hearings. And, I, and I'll tell you something else. I suspect there's going to be more hearings after this. This is just establishing the baseline for Congress. Uh, but we know, again, about Project Blue Book. We know about some, some efforts beforehand. And we know about my program, ATIP. And then after that, we had the UAP task force. But what about the 40-some years in between? What other efforts did the U.S. government have? What did we learn in that time? And is there a way we can get that information now under a single tent 
So we're not, in essence, reinventing the wheel. We can compare and contrast information we learned from before as compared to what we're learning now with better and, and, and more, more capable equipment. This is an inherently significant story, and maybe that's why it's been written off as the province of crazy people. Uh, you've persisted, though. We appreciate it. Lou Elzano, thanks so much for that preview. Thank you for having me. The following video has very little information, but it's still nonetheless pretty creepy. In the video, we can tell that the person behind the camera is scared. We don't know why, but it seems that the strange noises that are coming from inside the house might be the reason. The following is the video they took. Make some noise, it's way too quiet. I don't like it. See, I feel it, eerie vibe, and I'm not even inside there with him or her or whoever it is. I get a weird vibe, just come, the energy just coming from this place just is off. I don't like it. Creepy bathroom. Whoa. Whoa. Keep it closed. Whoa. Let it stay in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you running to? Who runs into a room without an escape to the outside? What? Without a door to the outside? Who does that? Who runs into a room and turns around and backs up to a, to a counter? See, this is why people don't survive in movies or anything like that. They make like bonehead decisions. So you're going back? How crazy. Ain't no way. It ain't that much curiosity in the world. As if the strange noises no. weren't creepy enough, a door suddenly closes on its own. And, as seen in the video, no one was inside the room. Now, although creep- That door would've stayed shut. It wouldn't have never been opened by me. Somebody else would've had to come along and open it. It'd've stayed shut. It could be that the strange noises were actually coming from the valve inside the toilet, which might've had a problem. Yet, there seems to be no explanation for the door shutting on its own. Given what occurred in the video, what are your thoughts? I'll leave it to you to decide as to whether or not the video is real. But regardless, the video itself is pretty creepy. That place needs a priest. Zoe Bruno and her family live on a farm that they believe is haunted. However, based on videos that Zoe has posted, viewers believe that it's not just haunted, but also cursed. In a recent video, Zoe shared that one of her pigs had given birth to a pair of baby pigs born with unusual deformities. Unfortunately, they were born dead. Now this was unlike anything the family has ever seen. Because of this, along with other strange occurrences, they believe that something very strange is happening on their farm. But then one night, the strangest thing was caught on camera. Zoe's sister was home alone when she heard weird noises coming from the pig stable outside. She began to record immediately. 
This is what was caught. Hola chicos, estoy grabando este video porque mi papá y mi mamá se fueron a comprar una cosa en el almacén y mi hermano se va se van a estar en la pieza, pero yo sentirlo enojado por acá. No sé qué está pasando, pero quiero tratar de grabar. ¡Ah! Miren eso. I missed it. I didn't see it. What was that? If you look close enough, you can see what appears to be a face peeping from behind a wooden post. Whoever, or whatever this is, is definitely unsettling to look at. Naturally, Zoe's sister had reacted the way she did. She's alive and well, but mentally, she is not okay, for what she'd seen in the stable has left her traumatized. Until Zoe posts more footage, we won't know for sure what this was. But until then, this video remains a mystery. Hmm. The following video was posted by JB, who had caught something chilling on his ring camera. Before this incident, JB and his roommate had been experiencing strange happenings at home that neither of them could explain. From hearing taps on the walls, to hearing footsteps in the hallway late at night, they can't shake the feeling that their house might be haunted. Now JB thinks that his roommate might have brought something into their house, considering that he loves going on ghost hunts with friends. Oh no! Perhaps something had followed him home from one of these ghost hunts. You know what, I thought about that too one time. Can you live, would y'all be able to live with somebody who does that, go on ghost hunts and, and different paranormal adventures and stuff like that? Because I had the same fear of what they could bring home and possibly jump onto you and try to, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, could you, I couldn't, I couldn't. Stay into the friendship or the roommate situation. That'd be over with, bro. You gotta find you somewhere to go, or I do. Hunts Simple. with friends. Perhaps something had followed him home from one of these ghost hunts. Although not entirely sure if that's the case, the following footage might just prove that their house is haunted. In this video, JB's roommate is with his girlfriend when his roommate whistles to his dog, but then immediately, someone or something else whistles back. Mind you, that they were the only ones home when this happened. Take a look. I heard it. <laughs> if no one else had been inside the house, then who whistled back? This video has left them shook. Some viewers believe that someone may be hiding inside their home, while others believe that something paranormal had occurred. Given the strange occurrences that have happened before in their home, it seems more than likely that something unexplainable was captured. Doubtless, this video is pretty baffling. Who, or maybe even what, had whistled back? Yo, that's what we need. Because I've seen in a lot of, of, like, videos or mysteries or murder situations and different things like that, and them stories sometimes, they catch people living either in the attic or in the walls. There needs to be some type of technology that you, and they may have, it may already be out, but I just don't know about it. But is there some type of technology you can go around your house with to be able to tell you if like a human or something is in the wall? Maybe you could take, detect like the heat signature from their body or something to be able to see if they're in the walls or something. Because that happens more than we think. You know, you don't even know you're sleeping in your bed and there's somebody crawling out of the wall at night going through your kitchen and through the rooms and through the house or crawling out the attic and you're asleep like that happens. Fling. Who or maybe even what had whistled back?
If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. For this next segment, someone had taken a screenshot of an online chat room in which something very strange was seen. JPD had submitted the following photo and writes that his cousin had been on Omegle talking to a stranger when all of a sudden, something appeared in the back of this person's room. It appeared for a split second before the chat room had switched to another stranger. JPD's cousin wasn't sure as to what she'd seen, but because she had screen recorded the chat rooms, she was able to look back at this moment and see if she actually saw something. When she got to the point where the thing had appeared on camera, she was left disturbed. This is what she saw. Sure that ain't his mom? Something? There appears to be a tall, shadowy figure entering this person's room in the back. According to JPD, his cousin has not been able to sleep well after seeing this. Now, because a screenshot was sent and not the screen recorded footage, this image seems questionable. But, as always, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, I'm sure that. I don't know. I'm sure it ain't somebody that was there. When with it him. comes to videos on poltergeist activity, it seems that the most believable ones are those in which the video was initially recorded for a different reason. In this case, YouTuber Mowgli85 was recording the trailer for the Simpsons movie from the film's official website so that he could upload the trailer to his YouTube channel. However, while videotaping the trailer, something pretty creepy happens. This is what was caught. I'm tensing up like a jump scare is about to happen or something. We'll be drawn. And Okay, at first I wasn't too disturbed by the clothes just falling on the floor. That happens, you know what I mean? But that chain moving the way it's moving. All right, now you got me intrigued. Whoa, 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 back that up. Y'all saw that? Look at the trash can. Now, one thing makes me skeptical. How do they know to focus the camera in that particular area? It was over at the close a minute ago and then the chain. So it's like, that's the only thing that makes me skeptical, but still crazy and creepy. Out of nowhere, things began to move on their own. Now after seeing the video, viewers had pointed out that the Ouija board in the corner of the oh. room might be the reason as to why all of this is happening. I didn't according even to Mowgli, he'd been playing with it the day before this incident. So according to viewers, it makes sense that something like this would occur. But as always, what do you think? Is I didn't this even actual see footage of something board. paranormal? Or is it simply a video that's been staged? As always, I'll let you be the judge. Feel free to let me know what you think. Yeah, I didn't even see the Ouija board. Reddit user AMRV had recently moved into an apartment with a couple of friends. However, there have been strange things that have been happening ever since they moved in. AMRV writes, We noticed pretty much right away that stuff does not stay on the walls. Posters, pictures, command strips, etc. all just come off the walls overnight. 
posters will fall off the walls really dramatically and startle us out of nowhere all the time. Among all the stuff that have been on the walls, a frame that was recently hung hasn't fallen off. But then one day, the following was caught on camera. Take a look. The frame appears to be moving on its own. Now perhaps the vent that's above it might have been causing it to move. Because of this, the kind of look like whatever it did kind of straightened it up. Maybe the ghost got OC OCD or something. Following day, AMRV had decided to record the frame before and after the air conditioner turned on. She wanted to see if the AC was causing this. However, it was during this recording that something unexpected had occurred. This is what was caught. Um, this is our vent test. Um, we have about uh, a minute until the heat's supposed to cycle on. Um, we're going to see if that does anything uh, to move, move the picture frame. Ain't no heat do that. Sometimes you gotta step out the room and gather your thoughts. Oh, don't go back in there. According to AMRV, she wasn't sure if the neighbors were messing with her, or if something paranormal had occurred, but seeing the fallen frame has left her spooked. To this day, this incident has been on her mind, and she still doesn't know what to make of it. As with all videos, I'll let you come up with your own conclusion on the situation. Had something paranormal occurred, or was something else captured? Thanks for watching. Good question, man. Good question. Like, we got to figure out what's going on. Continue to research, discover, pull back the curtain, figure out what is happening around here, man. And we know who not to believe, right? Exactly. I'm glad we're on the same page, y'all. All right. So if you unplug, make sure you hit that like button, man, and stick around and stay tuned. Till the next one, I'm gone. Peace.